is Lauren Perry, and the ESL method I chose is concept maps. Um, the purpose of concept mapping is that concept maps are visual organizers that use words, phrases, and sometimes images to show the relationship between ideas or information. Concept mapping encourages higher order thinking by empowering students to transform new information into knowledge by making meaningful connections between concepts and information. Concept maps also serve as a meaningful form of assessment by providing teachers with the information about what their students understand, how they express that understanding, and the areas they may need support in. Lastly, they deepen understanding and comprehension for all students, not just ELL, so that's great. Um, the materials required for concept maps are very minimal, it's just paper, marker, and like any of the readings that you want to use for that concept map. Um, I suggested that this ESL strategy be used with intermediate, advanced, and advanced high ELLs because um, at those levels they should all be able to listen and understand simple directions, identify and distinguish keywords and phrases, um, they're able to write simple sentences in English to express ideas in writing and engage meaningfully in grade appropriate writing assignments. They're able to read slowly and in short phrases and are able to apply basic and some higher order comprehension skills when reading grade appropriate text. Um, the content I chose for this lesson plan is science because I think science would be fun for this one. Um, so the content and language objectives with corresponding TEKS and ELPSs are um, the ELPSs are derive meaning from a variety of media, use pre-reading supports, read linguistically accommodated materials, use visual and contextual supports. So by the end of the lesson, the students should be able to do all of those things. Um, and the TEK I chose is from second grade science, organisms and environments. The student knows that living organisms have basic needs that must be met for them to survive within their environment. The student is expected to identify the basic needs of plants and animals. The objectives for this lesson are the learner will be able to understand that living things have basic needs that must be met to survive. The learner will be able to use pre-taught vocabulary and prior knowledge. The learner will be able to use a concept map to show the understanding of what plants and animals' basic needs are that must be met to survive. And lastly, the learner will be able to orally share information in their groups about the needs of plants and animals by using their concept maps they made. So the basic steps for this strategy in my content area, which is science, I chose second grade science and the activity would be um, the basic needs of plants and animals. So, number one, prior to this activity, make sure you teach the content-based vocabulary instruction to the students so they understand um, what exactly you're talking about and they're not left confused the whole lesson just because they don't know what the words mean that you're saying. Um, second, the class will read a textbook passage regarding the basic needs of plants and animals together. Third, model how to identify the major ideas or concepts presented in a selection of the text as you read. Four. Organize the ideas into categories. Remind students that your organization may change as you continue to read and add more information. So the main concepts for this um, specific activity are plants and animals, and then the subcategories of those concepts are gonna be the needs of plants and the needs of animals. Um, I suggested that you use arrows on the map to represent how ideas are connected to one another, just for clarification and um, limit the amount of information in each section to avoid difficulty and frustration. So, like, very few words, like less than three. Um, after each student has finished their concept map on the basic needs of plants and animals, ask them to share with their groups in order to reflect on how they each make connections between the concepts. And at that time, you can kind of go around, monitor, see what people know um, as a form of assessment. So... This method is appropriate for ELLs as they further develop their proficiency in English um, because concept maps allow ELLs to be supported in organizing new information by helping students demonstrate relationships between words and concepts. This strategy increases comprehensible input and language output by using a visual. Promoting connections between the main idea and other information 
while also engaging students' prior knowledge and using all four language domains. Another reason concept mapping is good for English language learners is because they allow for differenti differentiation, meaning they can be simple or complex, making them an effective learning tool for students of varying skills and language levels. Concept maps are most commonly used during reading to help children organize new information that can be used individually, with small groups or with the whole class. Thank <music> you.